this is all a fucking steaming pile of shit. And Michael Sartain runs around acting like the man. His face is all bloated out from fucking drinking in Las Vegas all the time. Okay, the guy's a total fucking pussy and a total fucking fake tough guy. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we're going to be looking at Michael Sartain, okay, everyone's favorite social circle guru in Las Vegas, the coolest guy ever. Okay, this guy is a fucking fake alpha pussy, okay, I know lots of people that know this guy in real life, they say he's a massive pussy, okay, he used to be very close butt buddy friends with the whole RSD crew, okay, let's take a look at who he hangs out with, okay, he was buddies with Owen Cook and all the fucking scammers in RSD. I okay, made countless videos showing what a terrible force RST was in the community and how fucking disruptive they were to men's lives. Okay, and social circle game is mostly just a fucking marketing ploy. Okay, fucking Todd even admitted that once he left RSD. Let's roll that clip. Let's talk about the bullshit marketing myth that is social circle game. Most guys don't have good Instagrams, okay? It's not feasible for most guys to generate some big massive social circle and let that be the key to gain, okay? Michael Sartain is all anti-pickup artistry, anti-PUA, okay? I heard in real life he's a huge pussy that won't approach. He's scared to approach, okay? So he tries to network and stuff like this, okay? Let's look at who else he's collaborating with, okay? He was collaborating with Luke Krogh, RSD Luke, okay? They were running a thing called Project Vegas, I attended a talk there, this was back in 2013 when I was living in Vegas, and Sartain was up there trying to act all cool and all this shit with his little fucking glasses. This guy's just always like spouting off hot air. Okay, oh, I'm former military, you know, and all I run men of action, and I'll, I'll kick everyone's ass. No, he's a fucking pussy in real life, okay? And then after his little fucking, you know, trials and tribulations with Luke, Luke later said, oh, uh, Michael Sartain's uh, social circle tactics are cringe and unnecessary. Okay, and we'll show the, the little screen grab from that. And, you know, and Luke himself was just a fucking cokehead subsisting off cheeseburgers anyways, so who gives a fuck about that? Okay, now let's look at who <laughs> Michael is bringing on his show. Uh, before that, if you actually want to learn real game and get regular dates, pack your schedule full of dates. We are running the best program in the industry. We have over a thousand testimonials on a proof page empirical evidence that real pickup does work okay and real pickup can get you a big rotation full of stunners or get you your dream girlfriend okay so get on one of those free 30 minute calls with the link in the description okay so who has michael bought, brought on his show since he's brought on max tornoff who's running a massive get rich quick scam okay called freedom business mentoring i've done multiple videos showing how max tornoff literally copied the Balig brothers, who are these German guys who got put criminal charges on them, okay, in Germany for running this whole fucking scam. Max Tornov copied it verbatim. He was also hiring girls in Kiev, paying girls in Kiev, promising them a better life to be part of his little social circle shoots, okay, which was all a facade. In reality, Max Tornov is just a fucking video game playing nerd who doesn't even shower much and smells like shit. Okay, so he was paying those girls for a fake facade. Okay, the, oh, this was all social circle. No, it wasn't. Okay, those girls were paid and they're being extorted basically because they're being promised a better life in Germany and Austria. Okay, and I showed multiple videos where his fucking girlfriend is busted and people that were friends with a girl that was part of those shoots, okay, basically spilled the, all the beans on that. Okay, then we have Rolo Tomasi. Need I say more? Okay, the, the fucking person that's the most money grubbing person in the whole manosphere, according to Anthony Johnson, who docks like 50 guys to a reporter, who is pushing all kinds of fabricated statistics and bullshit myths into the space, okay, by his own admission, has only banged 40 girls' lifetime, but running, runs around pretending to be a guru to make money. Okay, he's written a whole bunch of shitty books, just fucking rampant with horrible errors and statistics and like i said just miss fucking information okay and he makes up all these terms to try to make his stuff sound more complicated 
and therefore, you know, more intelligent and blah, blah, blah. There's a guy that wrote a whole book refuting all of Rollo's concepts and ideologies called The Irrational Male. Okay, it's on Amazon. I'll have the links to all my videos, okay, shown in, the, in this video here where I blast these various scammers that Sartain is hosting on his podcast. Okay, and we'll have the link to Boaz's book, The Irrational Male, in the description as well. It's multi hundred pages. I also made a video series called Debunking the Red Pill, which goes through and systematically destroys all of Rolo's talking points. Okay, Michael Sartain also had on Jay Waller, otherwise known as Justin Waller, who's just clearly a mega dumb fuck, okay, with a southern accent, spouting off lines from a copywriter. Okay, I heard in real life this guy is a mega pussy as well doesn't get chicks, okay, but likes to front and act like he's the man, okay, and well, he's part of the take crew and all this shit, okay, just another fucking asshole scammer, and he lives with Sterling Cooper, who's a fucking scammer as well, you listen to these guys' dating advice, and when you're a real expert, it's very obvious they don't, number one, don't know what the fuck they're talking about, number two, are really just talking out of their ass, right, Jay Waller's like, yeah, the key to getting women is to hold the door, and and uh, I go and dance with the fat girls so that the pretty girls will notice and all that. It's all fucking bullshit, okay? He has no fucking clue what he's talking about. I had his mother on my show for an interview, and she's like, yeah, Justin's been lying to all of you. You have no idea how many lies he's told and, and went on and on and on. Okay, who else has Michael Sartain been featuring? Ty Lopez, okay, everyone's favorite fucking make money guru. Ty Lopez was renting mansions and cars and all this shit, pretending like it was his own. There's lots of exposed videos on that. And he was just fucking blanketing the internet with paid advertising, okay? Mostly on YouTube and shit like that. I remember I'd be fucking girls playing like music on YouTube and they would be interrupted constantly by Ty Lopez ads, okay? For those of you that, that have, you know, remember those days years back, he was just spending mass amounts on advertising and then fronting with rented cars and mansions to sell more fucking scam courses, okay? Good buddy of Michael Sartain's. Then we have Adam Lyons that Michael Sartain has featured. Okay, Adam Lyons has his infamous bullshit lie claim of a 100% close rate. Oh, if a girl is interested in me or a girl looks at me or whatever and I decide I want her, my close rate's 100% or close to 100%. Total bullshit, okay, coming from a real expert Around the time I had 1,000 girls in December 2018, I had about 10,000 phone numbers in my phone. When I hit 1,500 in June of 2022, I had a little over 15,000 contacts in my phone. It shows that it's 10% at a high level, at a world-class level of skill, you're gonna be closing 10% of the girls. Not 100%, okay? <laughs> Literally, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Think about from a sales perspective, you're not gonna close 100% of prospects it doesn't make any fucking sense. The whole thing is a funnel, okay? Adam Lyons is just Adam Adam's lion, okay? And I made a video detailing all that fucking bullshit, okay? And then he even brings on fitness scammers, including Brandon Carter and Greg O'Gallagher, okay? And those guys are good buddies with RST as well. All these fucks are all friends. It's, a, it's very telling, okay? If you look at the guests that go on Fresh and Fit or on Michael Sartain's podcast, Okay, these guys are all fucking friends with each other and they all cross promote each other's scams. Okay, Kino Body and Greg O'Gallagher is a whole bunch of fucking bullshit in the fitness industry just meant to make money. Okay, Brandon Carter is just trying to push a whole bunch of stuff, pretending to be natty and, you know, have this like whole high ticket course to make money and all this stuff. Hangs out with fucking. Okay, so, you know. This is all a fucking steaming pile of shit. And Michael Sartain runs around acting like the man. His face is all bloated out from fucking drinking in Las Vegas all the time. Okay, the guy's a total fucking pussy and a total fucking fake tough guy. Okay, everyone worships this guy or, you know, some people do in various circles. And they're like, yeah, this is the social circle master. This is the ultimate mastery. No, okay, <laughs> that's all bullshit. And just like Todd said, let's talk about the bullshit marketing myth that is social circle. Game. There you have it. Okay. Straight from the source. This is after he broke off from the RSD fucking scam machine from the RSD uh, fucking cult nonsense. Okay. So all this fucking men of action bullshit that Michael Sartain is running is literally just that full on bullshit trash.
okay? These guys don't take action. They don't even fuck cold approach because they're scared and they think it's fucking pointless, okay? I've been coaching cold approach for over 10 years, gotten lots of guys into their dream relationship or gotten their dream rotation. Okay, lots of guys are closing one to two new girls per week. So there is a real system. There is a real fucking method to the madness. I do have the keys to the castle. Get on one of the free 30-minute calls. Let my team go over all the details and answer all your questions. And we will show you why it is the best program in the industry. We have over 1,000 testimonials on a proof page that you can look at as well with the proof link in the description. Okay? Thank you guys so much. Make sure you check out in the description the links to the various videos where I report on these different fuckers that he's bringing on his channel. And just fucking, you know, forget about this guy. He's irrelevant. Let him hang out with all these fucking pieces of shit. Okay, do his little stupid podcast. No one fucking really actually cares about this guy. He's fucking getting old and bloated and all this shit anyways. He's, he's well past his prime. So, you know, and I'm sure the trend will continue. He'll bring on a whole bunch more fucking huge fake gurus because that's what he does because he's a piece of shit. Okay, so that was fun. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I will see everybody on a video soon. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, and comment. And see you guys all later. Take care. And Jay don't stand in line. I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game. I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models. And you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor. I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.